Hi guys, I'm Phil Sturpey. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to work with DynamoDB using the AWS Toolkit in Visual Studio. In an earlier video, I showed you how to download and install the AWS Toolkit into Visual Studio and associate it with an IAM user I'd created earlier in Amazon Web Services. Here's that same user called Frank. If I just click on the Edit Account button, we can see that we have the Access Key and Secret Key. These are needed by the plugin so that when I'm trying to carry out management tasks in Amazon Web Services from within Visual Studio, those credentials can be used to authenticate. By the way, if you did watch that earlier video where I associated with a user called Frank, you should know that I've updated that user now to give him privileges to access DynamoDB. Now in this session, I don't want to look at how we might use the SDK to interact with DynamoDB programmatically. I just want to look at some of the simple management tasks that we can carry out within AWS Explorer. So that's going to be things like create a table, add records, delete a table, and so on. So let's start with creating a table. I'm just going to right click on DynamoDB and create table. Just something simple. I'm going to go for a table called trainers. And I'll go for a hash key name of trainer name. Nothing grand. Now many of the things that you can do with DynamoDB in the Amazon Web Services console, even from the command line, we can do via the plugin. So you could enable a range key if you wanted one. You can also specify the read and write capacity. I'll leave the defaults there. You can also specify secondary indexes, both local and global. Once again, I'll leave that alone. And finally, you could also set up an alarm. This could be used to notify you if your throughput exceeds more than, in this case, 80% of what you'd provisioned. For now, I'll leave all of those alone. I'll just want to create a simple table. So let me hit Create. And there we have it. Very straightforward. If you're working away in Visual Studio and needed a DynamoDB table, and you didn't have the time or inclination to create the table programmatically, or possibly even via the command line or from the Amazon Web Services console, it's very simple to do with this plugin. Let's add some records. Also simple. I'll right click, hit open, opens a query window and we can see the hash key. I can just literally start typing in trainer names. So I should go first, shouldn't I? Phil and then we'll have Matt and we could have Mike. We should put in Geraldine. There's several Amazon trainers. There you go. And so on. Very simple to put the records in. And if we had range keys and secondary indexes, they'd all be available in that window. Very simple to add in records. So let me close that down. Let's deal with the last thing. If I can create a table simply and add records to it simply, how about deleting it? Well, just as simple. Right click the table, hit delete, confirm, gone. Nothing too taxing, but it was just to show you how simple it was with the plugin to create, update and delete a DynamoDB table. There you have it. This video has shown you how easy it is to work with DynamoDB using the AWS Toolkit in Visual Studio. Thanks for watching, and please feel free to comment on my blog and Facebook page. Perhaps you could suggest more video topics. Most of all, don't forget to subscribe to keep up with my videos as I release them. Bye for now.